Every five years, the beast takes a bride. On this fateful day, the villagers hide. They take a maiden and tie her fast to a great stone pillar of the past. In their warm little homes, they'll hide in fright. Soon screams will rip through the fabric of the night. The beast has claimed his bride once more, and as he has each time before, this year, I am the chosen one. Tomorrow, the long purification is done. Then at dusk, I will be bound and alone. The beast will claim me as his own. The fear I feel, I try to hide. I pray the beast won't eat his bride. Black night has come, and now I hear a movement. I want to scream in fear, but I won't. The silence is deep, and the village below me seems asleep. A figure looms over me, dark and tall. A gentle pull, and away my bonds fall. A soft, furry arm grabbed me, and then, for a minute, I wanted to scream again. He walked in a cave, and again came fear. But he didn't slow down. We weren't stopping here. We left the cave and he was climbing down slow. There was a beautiful village down below. We went through the village past the city square and entered the biggest building there. What was going on? I couldn't tell. But these weren't demons out of hell. He set me down. Now I could finally see. He pulled off his fur and grinned at me. He was a man, though far different from us. He was glad I didn't scream and fuss. They came from a very distant place, across something he called outer space. None of their women had come, it seems. Their radio thing wouldn't make any beams. I didn't understand too much of this. But this place was nice, and I wouldn't miss the village or the people I left behind, for though strange, these men were kind. They had a serum to keep us young and fair. With us, their science they did share. We loved our mates. They gave us joy. But not one of us could conceive a boy. Only female children and nothing more could be born, it seemed, from this outworld spore. For years, we lived and worked side by side. Then suddenly, all of our men died. It happened too quickly to find the cause, one after another, without a pause. We tried to teach Earth men. We were of Earth still. They reacted in fear. Many did they kill. We took action then and hid our entrance caves. When we caught men, we made them slaves. When they heard our name, they ran in fear. We held the Earth in terror here. To us, men are ignorant, savage pawns, for we are the mighty Amazon.